Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Stitched Up, my name's Rachel and I'm really, really glad that you've decided to join me today. So first of all, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has decided to watch and subscribe and like my videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get started for some sewing fun. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about my love of jersey fabrics. Now, some of you, those of you who've been with me for quite some time, will know that I, because I do talk about it a fair bit, I have gained um, quite a few pounds over the last year and I'm not happy with it at all and I'm trying quite hard at the minute to try and reduce my weight just so that I can get back into some of the clothes that I made in 2018 that are languishing in my wardrobe that I just cannot get into at the minute. Now for those of you that are on Instagram there is a hashtag that's going around at the minute I think it's called Sew My Size and it's been really prevalent on Instagram this week around people celebrating the size that they are and um, a real big shout out to pattern designers whether that's commercial pattern designers or the indie designers as, as well all about inclusivity and um, making sure that they look at trying to grade their patterns to cater for women and men of all shapes and sizes um, and what's really struck me this week is the amount of what we would traditionally call plus size um, sewists who are being absolutely so empowered to present themselves on Instagram with their height, their weight, their body measurements and they're just really embracing it and I think it's amazing, it's absolutely fantastic. I grew up in an era in the sort of 90s, early noughties where skinny was everything and you know if you weren't a size zero then that was it you know you weren't you just weren't catered for and I can remember so many times as a teenager going shopping with my friends and not being able to fit in any of the clothes in the you know the real trendy stores and it always affected me quite deeply so one of the things that we love about sewing obviously is that we can sew our own and yeah to, to really be part of that community that that just embraces all shapes and sizes is really truly something so anyway enough waffling getting back to what we're talking about today which is about jersey now for me myself I do struggle with my weight I always have and I think I always will I go through periods in my life where my weight drops and I get super slim and I feel amazing but trying to maintain that is always a bit of a challenge and then I'll go to the other extreme where I gain weight to where I am now and sometimes bigger I've been a lot bigger than what I am now and yeah it's that constant battle not just physically but mentally as well and at the minute I've got as you know so many glorious fabrics in my stash that I want to sew up into really beautiful clothes and I know there's the old mantra that you should sew for the body you have not the body you want um, but I'm not happy with the way I am and I know that you know as I was about a year ago is where I really want to be um, so at the minute I've got loads of jerseys in my stash and I'm sewing with jersey mainly because I know that these patterns and these garments that I'm making now are going to still fit me when I've lost my weight so you know it's not going to be a waste and you know I don't want to put off sewing I love sewing and it's one of my outlets and one of my um, you know it allows me to be creative and it allows me to sort of chill out and relax etc and I, I don't want to stop doing that just because my weight isn't where I want it to be right now so I'm sort of thinking well I'm gonna sew with jersey and so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about some of my favorite jersey makes that I've made in the last couple of weeks and also um, some of my favorite patterns so the first one that I wanted to show you is to tell you about what I'm wearing now this is the Tilly and the Buttons Freya and it is a jersey pattern in her book Stretch I think it's called Stretch that's really bad isn't it that I don't know what it's called I'm pretty sure it's called stretch anyway yes um it's in her book which she released a year ago or 18 months ago I'm not exactly sure and um it's a really versatile pattern because you can make it as a top or a dress you can alter the sleeve length it's got different neck um neck 
bands. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just not with it today, am I? Um, so yeah, I've made it a couple of times, but I've only made the top before. So I decided that I wanted to make the dress and I wanted to have a go at the big roll neck. I'm not sure if it's a roll neck. It's a big, big neck version, whatever it's called. You know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I'll stand back and show you how it looks. So this is my Tilly and the Buttons Freya dress and I've made it to sort of just below the knee. Um, I've got three quarter length sleeves on it and obviously this lovely big roll neck. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like it. This fabric is a beautiful sort of jacquard knit fabric that I got from Colville Fabrics and um, I'll leave the link to Colville down below. Some of you um, I know that watch my vlog already have found them and they're, it's a really good um, a really good online fabric store from Leicester um, but he only sells on Facebook so he does a sale every Sunday at five o'clock so that's going to be in a couple of hours so I'll be tuning into that tonight. But yeah, he sells fabrics not really by the metre. He does minimum of two metres um, but usually they're in three metre blocks and they're really reasonably priced. I think this was £10 for three metres. I did need three metres for this version of the Freya because it's got a one-way design on the pattern and the big chunky roll neck does take up a fair bit of fabric. Now, those of you that have made the Freya before with this neck will notice that mine is a little bit smaller than what the pattern is and that's because I just didn't have quite enough on the three metre piece that I had to make it the full depth that it should be so I had to cut it down a little bit but I still think it works. Um, what can I say about it? I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I've worn this for work already with black tights and um, black shoes and you know it's casual enough but smart enough to either get away with wearing it for, for work, for the job that I do, but also for, um, for you know, when you're not at work as well. I think it's, it's really warm. This fabric is a lovely knitted fabric and it's really warm. I used my twin needle on my faff to do the hem around the sleeves and also the hem around the bottom. And that's, um, yeah, that's, that's been pretty perfect but the rest of it was just sewn up on my overlocker so this is the kind of thing I want to wear when I'm feeling bigger than I want to be and but I know that when I lose a stoning weight because of my height I, I can carry a stone on or a stone off and people don't really notice although I feel it um, but I know if I lose a stony weight this will still fit me perfectly and even if I need to take it in a little bit I can just run up the side seams on the overlocker so so yeah so really really happy with this one I'll just go to the next one that I want to show you which was on my mannequin so give me a second and I'll be right back so next up is this dress here now this is another jersey dress and this is the new look 6000 pattern and this was really really popular probably about three or four years ago when I first got into sewing loads and loads of sewing bloggers that I first started following were making this dress and it's the first time that I've made this version of the dress I have made it before but a different version so this is the other version that I made um, I've shown this on a previous blog I made this about four years ago and this is just in this gorgeous floral scuba that I got I think from the textile centre um, it's just a simple faced neck band um, it's elbow length sleeves on this shaped um, with darts in the back it's got fisheye darts in the back which is great if you're curvy like me because it really nips you in in the back and shows off your shape and I made this length just to below the knee so this is one version of the new look 6000 but I've never made the version with the big collar and the cuffs and again I got this fabric from Colville Fabrics as well this is a lovely tweed fabric and um, it's stretchy but it's got like a waffle texture to it and I thought it would be perfect to have a go at this dress so I've gone the full hog with this dress it's got these lovely gathers in at the side which creates this lovely ruching now if you notice I have got it on the wrong side because this fabric does have a definite wrong side and right side um, and I just laid the pattern pieces down on the fabric 
wrong side down I think when it should have been the other way so it's meant that my ruching is on the opposite side to where it should be but you know it's fine and um, it's got this lovely big collar on with these gorgeous buttons that I bought from Fabworks about a year ago and again I've done three quarter length sleeves with these gorgeous little cuffs on with um, buttons either side on both sides. Now I'm not trying it on because um, I have tried it on and for some reason this is a little bit tighter on me than the pink one that I've just shown you um, and it's just a bit tight on my hips at the minute so I do need to alter that um, and it also needs hemming as well because I, I finished this the other day but yeah I was a little bit nervous about making this pattern with the with, because I couldn't figure out how the collar worked just from seeing made up versions of this dress but um, it's actually really straightforward and the instructions are really clear the only alterations I made to this pattern was I did add an inch um, above the ruching detail. Um, when I looked at the pattern, that there are, like with most commercial patterns, there are lengthen and shorten lines on there for if you do need to adjust adjust the length of your pattern but they weren't actually above the ruching detail and looking at obviously this was going to be creating a bit of space for your bust so if you are full of busted I, I, I did think that actually I probably needed that to be a little bit lower down so all I did was I, I measured between the bottom of the armhole and where the ruching started and then cut across straight through the front pattern piece and then added an inch on there and then did the same on the back pattern piece as well. So um, really, really happy with this dress. It looks exactly as I expected it to be, apart from I didn't quite realise that obviously because it's um, like a check fabric, um, it's the, the check is sort of off kilter a little bit because of the ruching. The front pattern piece is not cut on the fold because of all these pleats that are in the side here. The front pattern piece is one big piece that you cut um, you just cut it flat on on the fabric and um, yeah it just means that this 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 um, check on the fabric at the top before you get to the ruching is a little off kilter and then it then it goes straight the, the rest of the dress now when I first was putting it together I didn't like it I thought oh gosh it looks it doesn't look very good but actually now the dress is all complete and because the the collar is the same obviously that's slightly the the, the the grain line is right, but it just means that the pattern is, is off a little bit. I think it actually works. It looks fine. So really, really happy with it. Again, if I show you the detail on the back, you can see these gorgeous, I love how the collar drapes at the back here. It's designed to have a, it's got a centre back seam and it's designed to have um, a zip in the back. But because this is jersey, this particular pattern you can make out of a woven fabric or a jersey fabric a good stable jersey like this which is it feels very much it's not a scuba but it feels very much like a ponty that kind of fabric um i knew that i'd be able to get in and out of this without without a zip so i haven't put a zip in and i've just stitched up the center back seam but i love how the collar sits at the back i think that's really cute um and again it's got these fisheye darts in the back which when it's on for anybody who's curvy it's it gives you a really really lovely shape and i really do like seeing patterns with these fisheye darts in. i think they look great so again this is lovely and i'm really happy with it i will be wearing this for work when i finished it off and got those few little alterations just around the hips made to fit me a little bit better so that's my next make so following the success of my first freya dress i then set about making another one and this is it here again I wanted to make this really big chunky roll neck because this kind of weather that we're having at the minute in the UK it's it's been really really cold the last few days have been quite mild but before that it was really cold and we're planning from today to get really cold again and I just want to be snuggly and warm when it's this cold so yeah I've made another one this is in another fabric that I got from Colville this is a lovely teal Ponty Roma fabric I've got, I've got a few threads under there I think I can feel it um and um, yeah this fabric was lovely to work with really stable so if you've not worked with jersey fabrics before I would suggest you start with something like this something like a ponty it's still got that nice enough of a drape in it to obviously work with the big chunky roll neck um, but it's lovely and soft 
again I twin needled the um, the wrists round round the wrists just there again I've just done three quarter length sleeves and that's because obviously being a nurse practitioner I need to have my sleeves rolled up when I'm at work so I've just gone for three quarter length sleeves again if I just stand up and show you this one fits me a little bit more snugly than the previous one and I think that I would probably wear a slip underneath this just to hide obviously um, any see-through from tights and underwear etc etc so it's just a little bit a little bit snug a little bit snug on me at the minute but um, but I'm really really happy with it as I say I love this fabric I think it's really really nice um, and um, hopefully as I lose a little bit more weight it will just get a little bit looser on me I've gone for midi length with this one so it's between my knees and my calves but um but yeah it's lovely it's a really nice really nice cozy dress what more can i say and i love this color it's great um what else another dress to show you so give me a minute to get changed and i'll be back with you in a minute so the last dress that i've got to show you today that i've made this last week is this one now this is the seamwork takara i'm going to put a little picture of it just up here because i can't find my pattern pieces at the minute uh, God knows what I've done with them but anyway I'll put a little picture up here but essentially it's very much I think it's very much like the Sew Over It Thea dress which they released last month as one of their part of their PDF club and um, I really really like that dress it's a cocoon shaped dress suitable for jersey fabrics that you can have either midi or mini length and um, I really liked it however and I was going to buy it however I am a member of Seamwork and one of their releases recently was the Takara dress, which is very, very similar. Again, it's a cocoon shape. Now, I love it. I love the cocoon shape, but I'm just not sure it suits my figure, especially at the weight I am at the minute. It's essentially a drops, dropped sleeve, dropped shoulder sleeve. So um, the drop shoulder is like a kimono sleeve to about here and then you've got a sleeve band which comes to sort of three quarter length um, and then the rest of it is is cocoon shape so let me stand up and I will show you okay so this is the dress and as you can see it's quite wide and it comes to I've done it just to above my knee um, loose nice and loose so quite easy to to wear um, I do like it I really do like it and I think it's really nice and um, casual um, I think with a big statement necklace it would look great it's got like a it's got just a simple jersey neckband around the neck and then the hems of both the sleeves and the bottom of the dress are twin needled now when I made this originally I did make it middle length but it, I just felt it drowned me the sizes, the finished sizes of this dress are huge compared to your actual measurements. I made a size 8, which is obviously a US size 8, uh, which is equivalent to a size 12. And obviously you can see how loose this is on me. Um, and yeah, the, the finished measurements are huge. If I'd have gone the size that I probably should have done, which would have at least been at least a 10 at the minute, um, it would have just been enormous. Having said that, I do think the sleeves are just a little bit tight. I think um, I'll just do them with a three-eighths of an inch seam allowance, I think, next time I make this dress, because I will make it again. But yeah, I think with a big statement necklace and boots, it looks okay, but it looks fine, I think. But um, I think if you've got... My chest is, is, is sort of... I haven't got a tiny chest, but I haven't got a huge chest. Um, but I think if you've got... Just pulling my tights up. I think if you've got... a a, a full bust a really full bust this kind of dress would just look like a tent to be honest um i don't think if my bust was any bigger I, I don't i think i would just feel like i was wearing a shapeless sack but um but i do like it and i do have plans to make another one again this fabric is a simple cotton jersey that i got from colville i think this was it was either three meters for six pounds or three meters for nine pounds I'm not quite sure it's really lovely it's nice and soft and it's not too thin um I would say it's a medium weight cotton jersey so it's perfect for this I think any thicker and 
you, if you used a fabric like a scuba or a ponte you would end up where you would really really emphasize the cocoon shape so that would really stand out but I think because this is thinner um, it, it's a lot more drapey so you've got the loose fit of the dress but it doesn't stick out so that's just something to be aware of if you if you make this dress or if you make the Thea. Um, I've got some like a slinky um, a slinky knit fabric that I'm planning to make another one on another one of these this pattern out of and I think that that one has got a bit more stretch in it than this as well so I think from the sleeve perspective that will probably be a little bit better um, as I say there's not a lot of stretch in this fabric to be honest and I think I didn't really take that into account with the sleeve so they are a little bit tight but again it fits me fine and as I lose a bit of weight it's going to be it's going to be even better so really really happy with this so this is the final dress that I wanted to show you that I've made in the last week um yeah it looks like obviously I, I, you know I understand that you all probably think oh my god she's made four dresses in a week but you know these are so quick to make up once you get them cut out I lay my cutting mat um, my cutting mat side by side on my dining room table. I've got a rotary cutter. I can just whiz round cutting these pattern pieces out really quick and so they're all sewn up on my overlocker which takes an hour max to sew these up and then hemmed on my um, sewing machine with a twin needle which is already set up so it's it's pretty quick to make these kinds of dresses to be honest. So um, you know so it's it's yeah what can I say anyway I've got one more thing to show you and um, that's going to be the final thing to show you that I've made in this last week so I'll just go get changed and I'll be back with you in a few minutes so final thing I wanted to show you is not the top um, but actually a skirt that I'm wearing so if you remember early in December I made a I think it was December it might have been early January I made a cord skirt which was made from my go-to skirt pattern which following hunting through my pattern stash I showed you was this one Butterick B4461. Now when you look at that pattern and the gorgeous pictures on the front of the pattern envelope they're not very inspiring at all. Um, they look really dowdy, really old-fashioned, really frumpy, they all look like they're made out of quilting cotton and yeah it doesn't inspire but honestly sometimes you see these patterns you've got to look beyond the picture that's on the front of the pattern envelope because sometimes it can actually be a really cracking pattern and this one for me is just fantastic it really is anyway it's designed for woven fabrics but again I've made it out of jersey it took a little bit of tinkering with because ordinarily this pattern sews up incredibly quickly um, but I needed to tinker with it a little bit obviously because the pattern that I've cut out I've cut out in a size 14 which fits me in a woven um, but when I did it in this fabric um, it was a little bit big anyway let me stand back and I'll show you the finished skirt and you can have a little look and see what you think so here is the finished skirt so this is a black ponty fabric again that I got from um, Coval Fabrics and I got three metres of this black ponty and I think it was nine pounds. So I've got tons of it left because this pattern only takes about a metre of fabric. Now it's got two darts at the front. Um, it's got a facing which goes all the way to the inside so you don't have a waistband. So it's great if you've got a patterned fabric where you just don't want that line of interruption to your pattern, de uh, to your pattern detail with a waistband. Um, but even in a plain fabric I think it's really nice not to have um, not to have that that interruption there with the waistband um, and then it's got darts at the back as well and also an invisible zip I don't know if you can see that zip there um, but there is an invisible zip there and even though this is made out of ponty I did want a proper stabilized waist with um, a zip in as well I didn't think I'd be able to get it on and off because my waist is quite significantly smaller than my hips so this Skirt length is just to my knee. Um, I'm wearing it with my leopard print gable top from Jennifer Lauren Handmade at the minute, just so that you can see it a bit better. But you know, it's not it's not exciting, is it? It's just a plain black skirt, black skirt. But one thing that I was noticing was that I just didn't have a plain black skirt in my wardrobe, and 
Pencil skirts are very difficult to fit on me because I'm curvy and my waist is usually two, two to three sizes smaller than my hips. So I can't just go out and buy a pencil skirt and even making one in a woven fabric would be a bit of a nightmare to be honest. So Ponte is just perfect because it's stable, it's a good stable jersey um, but it stretches so it gives and um, you know if you want to wear that figure hugging shape of, of a skirt um, make it yourself out of Ponte or scuba. Um, the beauty about them as well is because they're quite thick jerseys they, they tend to hide, hide a few sins shall we say. Anyway that's my last make to show you so um yeah what can I say have a go at Jersey if you've not if you've not sewn with it before um there's some cracking patterns out there and um yeah it's great to have a, a a nice little black skirt in my wardrobe now that I can wear for work or I can jazz it up for a, a date night or something like that um I'll just wear it casually I love the Freya I love the big chunky roll neck I think it's fantastic and um, yeah I'm going to be making loads more of those and trying to use a lot of the jerseys in my stash especially while I'm trying to lose weight so that I can fit back into my woven clothes. There is um, the Decades of Style Empire line um, trousers. I made two pairs of those last year. I made a black crepe and a sort of aubergine crepe coloured pair as well and I cannot get them on at all at the minute. They're just far too tight. Um, and I am not making them in a bigger size. I've got some more crepe fabric and I'm desperate to make some more of those trousers because I love them, they're fabulous. Um, but I'm not making them in a bigger size. I'm not wasting my gorgeous fabric. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at at the minute. But you know, at least at the minute, these kinds of clothes are making me feel good um, when I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself that I can't get in the clothes that I love. And um, it means that I can keep sewing, so. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, please give, a thumb, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And I will hopefully be back with you later on during the week. Take care.